the award-winning station Science at TV. We are privileged to be hosting DNG. How are you doing, sir? Yo, man, I'm excited to be here at Science TV. Yeah, good really, to see you. Really amazing, man. All right. Yeah. And um, I can see something. Punguza. Punguza. Aha. That's what I'm pushing right now. Okay. It's a brand new initiative uh, by Two Five Four Entertainment. Oh yeah. Uh, this company that I own, and, and we are so committed and passionate about young people. Okay. So Punguza, as the name says, you know, it's a Swahili word meaning to reduce. Oh yeah. The big question is, what are we Punguza? Mm. What are we reducing? So. Mm. Uh, Pungus is a, is a uh, youth sensitization and advocacy campaign right. and what we're trying to do is talk about responsible sexual behavior oh, yeah. so we're just encouraging young people to reduce irresponsibility irresponsibility yeah. all right we're talking about irris is it irresponsible or responsible 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 sexual behavior that's yes. what we're talking about this morning remember that our sms line is 20508 if you got any suggestion or comment or question as well you can always uh send in and we shall be engaging you in this live broadcast and so uh dng yes how long have you been doing this uh we can vote from Guza in february of this year so mm -hmm. it's a it's a very fresh campaign okay um we we came across very crazy statistics yes um are affecting young people obviously as a company we've been uh, engaging young people for the last 12 years okay as an entertainer i've been in the game 15 years entertaining youth i know mm -hmm. youth mm -hmm. and, and, and this actually is our second unveil so okay. our first one was hustle yako that we kicked off in um uh, in 2017 Hassan Yako Hassan Yako yes and as the name goes that was about uh, youth empowerment and development but with a specific focus on career business right. yeah, and yeah. Uh, entrepreneurship yeah. because we all know that unemployment is a problem poverty is a problem it is. and then we decided you know what let's let's use our platforms and our resources yeah. to yeah. show young people that they can succeed in uh, life uh, so as we continued talking to young people we realized that hey there's another problem that they're facing yes that has to do with lifestyle choices and um we came across crazy statistics as i was saying like for example 33 percent yes. of new hiv aids infections yeah are amongst the okay that's shocking right that's shocking but what about people are talking about cancer they I yes. am forgetting about HIV. People are forgetting about HIV. Mm -hmm. You see, cancer, um, unfortunately, has is, has come to the forefront because of the, the high profile yeah. uh, death cases. Okay. You know, when a, when a, when a governor dies, yes, that's a big story. That's a big story. So yeah. that's why there's a lot of focus. Mm -hmm. And uh, cancer is that thing of oh my God, we don't know what to do. We yeah. don't know the cause. We, yeah. we don't know how to deal with it. Uh -huh. But HIV has been there for long. For long. And yeah. people have gotten like numb about it. You've had so many guys die about HIV AIDS mm -hmm. but uh, right now we're seeing youth getting infected with HIV AIDS okay. STIs are that you know global STIs according to CNN health is about yes. a million STIs being documented daily 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 oh, so just to a million times 365 days in a year that's a problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you look at teenage pregnancies in Kenya alone yes, yes. we're at uh, 400,000 teenage pregnancies annually oh, okay so okay. these teenagers are sexually active yes and for a long time our society has been uh, very very silent on the matter we are pretending that these teenies are not engaging in sex they are good precisely people. <laughs> precisely holidays they're reading yeah, yeah, they're yeah, reading yeah, they're yeah, reading yeah, they're yeah. doing holiday homework yeah, yeah, yes but what are they doing during holidays visiting their boyfriends girlfriends precisely yeah, yeah. so so yeah. As, as 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 older brothers mm. as older sisters mm. we need to be able to engage our, our teens yes if you're watching this and you have a teenager at home, yes, yeah. you want me when you show, tell them to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yes. Kunguza, K yeah, yeah, and plug into the conversation. Mm -hmm. I think the first step is to talk about sex. Yes. And and treat these young people as people who are able to make their own choices. So you're telling these young people to punguza sex? To pung no, no, no. <laughs> to punguza irresponsible. Now oh, think of it this way. Yes. 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 If the teens are already sexually active, yeah. If you tell them to abstain, yeah. will they really abstain? No, they won't abstain. They won't abstain. Yes. Let's, so, so yes. we're, us, we're yes. real guys. We're not guys coming from uh, Amze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cognizant that the history of our lambes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we're going to stop. Are you trying to share? Yeah, history is cool. Like, we're going to get there. Kuchil, kuchil, kuchil. I was in. Kuchil has been there from when I think when I was in high school. Yeah, remember that? It was like it was like this. Then we were under the boys and did like this. Oh yes. Guys never really chill uh, because uh, if people were chilling, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have four hundred thousand pregnancies every year. Yes, yes. So our our rationale is is that uh, you know what? Even as, as you decide, for example, yes. if you must engage in sexual activity, yes, you know first that there's a choice. 
there is a choice. Know that the, every action mm -hmm. has a reaction and mm -hmm. a consequence. Mm -hmm. So as you decide or so you make that decision, yeah. as a teenager, yeah. know that there are repercussions. Yes. And if you must know that you also have options yeah. that you can, for example, go walk into a chemist and get yourself a contraceptive. Mm -hmm. Walk into a chemist, mm -hmm. get yourself a pack of CDs. Oh, yeah. You know that teenagers don't even know that they no. have the right to walk into a chemist or a pharmacy. Yeah. I know. That's for a pocket of their very best. You know they say it's shameful <laughs> to go and say, if I can't trust. You know you walk, yeah, and as we deal with these young guys all the yeah. time, and, and some of the conversations we have is like, yeah. they walk in and they look at that guy, or that guy looks at them, yeah, and they say, eh, uh, because yet they were supposed to buy yeah. protection. So what do they yeah. do? Yeah. They're still going to have sex, whether they yeah. bought that exactly. pocket of condoms yeah. or not. Yeah, yeah. So they go and have unprotected sex, yeah. they expose themselves to infections, yeah. diseases, yeah. Yeah. They wanted pregnancies. Yeah. And most of them, you know, if they get knocked up or they get pregnant, what, yeah. what happens? They, they, mm. they can't take care of the baby. Yes. They are afraid to even tell their folks. Uh, so go towards abortion. Yeah. They yeah. can't afford yeah. A, yeah. a proper abortion or yeah. a legal one. Mm. So what do they do? Backstreet clinics, Back man. Street. Yes, yes. What does yes. that lead to? Yeah. yeah. We all know. Some of them end up destroying the, the rest of their lives, yeah. uh, you know, affecting their health. Mm -hmm. Some even end up dead. I know. Over I know. bleeding. Mm -hmm. So the consequences are grave. So I think we have a, a historical opportunity here to, yes. to avert this crisis. All right. And we all need to come together, whether it's the media, yes. whether it's us as, as influencers and yes. icons yes. or youth leaders, yes. whether it's, it's government, whether it's, it's the church or the, 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 the mosques. Uh, yeah, we all need to come together yeah. and talk about this, talk about this matter yeah. without judging yeah. anybody, yeah. Yeah. without pointing fingers. Mm. Let's be real. Mm. Let's remember how it was being an adolescent, mm. going through puberty and adolescence and the changes and the hormonal changes in our bodies. Yes. When we started exper experimenting yesterday, I posted something yes. on my social media and I was just showing a video of, yeah. of two girls, uh -huh. lesbian girls, you. Uh, very young, yes. maybe 17, 18, 19, they are born. I don't know them, so I don't know ex specifically how old they are. Mm -hmm. But the one was proposing to the other one oh. on okay. video. Yes. And they put it up on social media so they're not embarrassed. Uh, yeah. It's not a taboo for them. Yes. yes. These are the young people we're talking about mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So we can either sit back and pretend that, you know, uh, it's all good and nothing's happening. Oh my God, the Kenyan population is great. Yeah. Or we can address these issues yes. and give them guidance talk to them figure out what's going on yes is there a problem okay. can we talk about it mm -hmm. can we deal with it and, and give direction when we were growing up Kaksu, mm -hmm. i don't know how it was for you but for me mm -hmm. we didn't have peers that we could talk to or we didn't have um um a, you know all the older younger Absolutely. guys that we could talk to, to no. just our parents and our we uncles were very strict on us yeah. they, were, they would push us, push us to the wall and tell us you know you, you need to stop this can you and yeah you know yeah 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 no one would be soft to you thank you yeah, yes and yes you see yes. how we turned out yeah <laughs> 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 so, so what we're yeah. saying as is like yeah. let's be our brother's keeper so how do you approach these young people so you tell them this like, so so currently we've been engaging guys on, on social media platforms mm -hmm. because every young person is on a mobile phone okay whether it's a high-end smartphone or like a bambe yeah. can talk yeah. whatsapp yeah. facebook exactly. allow instagram kido yeah. Kido, Kido, Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. so engaging them is also a, a, a very well penetrated uh, a platform of communication because even the guys in mashinani okay. rural kenya yeah. can access okay uh, this information online and then uh, we're also striving to do our, our own events where we get young people together and we have peer-to-peer -peer education, we have engagement, one-on-ones, counseling. Mm -hmm. And for example, we're doing our first one this Friday. Okay. It's going to be taking place in Gidurai. Gidurai. I know everybody has been expecting us to say a big uh, venues in the city. No. Yes. To Nigeria, to Nigeria, Mitani. 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 Mashinari. Is it door to door or hood to hood? We call it hood to hood. Yeah. Mutakwa, Muta, it's Muta yeah. tour. <laughs> so we're starting at Gedurai 44. Yes. Remember, this is also the time when we're coming to celebrate the International Youth Day. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Uh, on Friday, the yeah. place is Gedurai 44. Yes. At the Chiefs Camp, yeah. there's the Youth Empowerment Center. All right. So we have an amazing program of activities, uh, you know, outlined for young people. Yeah. It's free of charge. Free of so charge. your holiday, with mm -hmm. will come through. There'll yes. be entertainment. Yeah, could come MC, my DJ. Mm -hmm. For upcoming artists as well, you can come and showcase. Yes, 
could come and perform. We'll be having poetry skits. We'll be having rap battles. Mm -hmm. For the ladies, there'll also be beauty uh, pageant. Oh, yeah. So you can come oh. showcase your pro wrestling. That is on Friday. That is on Friday. Friday, Friday from 8 to 6. Yes. A whole day affair. Okay. And on the sidelines, we'll be having now the peer to peer conversations. Yeah. They'll be cancelling. People have been asking me, what about the people who've gone through like rape and gender based violence? Mm -hmm. There'll be counseling sessions by experts. Mm -hmm. Some experts have even been uh, given to us or provided by the, the Ministry mm -hmm. of uh, Public Service Youth and Gender. Yeah, the yeah. county government is involved. Mm -hmm. um, Beyond Zero team is also going to be there for the maternal services. Yes. You know, we have young mothers in Utah who cannot afford health services. So mm -hmm. come through, get yourself checked, make sure everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, anything you need, even access to this, this things we're talking about, like contraceptives, contraceptives yeah. free of charge. Right. Yes, whatever you need, uh -huh. now, 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 Okay, yes. right. So, how do you get to approach these young people and tell them, you know, I want to talk to, to you about something that you didn't know? Because most of them, them will say, he's in the Zakawai that we are scared. Contraceptives are the only thing that we are scared. Contraceptives, yes. Yeah, I think for us it's just the, the real conversation, just like this. Yes. We don't talk to get the youth like we are, we are, we are the doctors. You know how you go and uh, yeah. a lecturer talks to you, yeah. your, your dad tells you, we need to talk. Yes. And that's the good thing that like, this is a peer to peer conversation. Yeah. So me and my young guy, you're yeah. a young guy, so yeah. we're talking to fellow youth. It's one yeah. on one, it's real, it's fresh. Yeah. There is no judgment, it's just an open forum. Okay. And the good thing is that, you know, for us, like, let me say, like for me as Brandy and G, yeah. you know, an icon that young people look up to, yes. and, and I'm like the big bro. Okay. So I'm always talking to you. Some, uh, you know, come to me. They're like, hey, link me up, yeah. put me on this. Uh, have a song, mm -hmm. put me on this stage show. Yeah, 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 like that. So, yeah. so I'm that guy who's in their face, uh, helping them through life, through life, through life. So, mm -hmm. and, and you know, for me, my job is to now get like-minded people uh -huh. like yourself uh -huh. and others uh -huh. to 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 hold hands with us and walk yeah. this journey together. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. DNG for governor. Ah, should I say that? So ah, let, ah, let us take a break with the right back. Don't go too far. <laughs> wow, nice. Science Breakfast, it's happening here on the award-winning station Science TV. This morning we are privileged to be hosting DNG who's talking about responsible sexual behaviors. And when we talk about responsible sexual behavior, some of you think it's about the slums. No, but it's happening everywhere according to everywhere. DNG. Yeah. It's happening everywhere. They're everywhere, man. Guys are not responsible. Mm. People are not taking responsibility. You know, Mali, uptown, downtown, yeah. Yeah. Mali, uh -huh. even 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 it's not just about the teenagers or about the youth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Why is it not targeting the the, the, the the old the old generation? You know with every uh, initiative or every campaign, every product you put out there, you must have a core target audience. Core target, yeah. So core target audience was is you because that's our core demographic. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, even as we have this conversation, yeah. I don't keep it on now as it. I share lots of my WhatsApp my stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my WhatsApp, you know, because of the contacts I have, a lot of them are my clients, uh, yeah. very senior guys. Yeah, yeah. So yesterday, one of them is like, Wow, DNG sent me this video. I have to put it on my family group. Because oh, yeah. him, you see, he has teenagers, mm. as, uh, as ch children. Mm. Some are in uni, some are in high school. And he's like, He's shocked. He did not believe that the young people are this uh, crazy. Yes. I was like, yeah, bro. So you have to know that uh, 
this is the scenario we're in. Yeah. And good for you. You yeah. need to address it. So him is willing to take it head on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a family group, him, his wife, <laughs> and children. <laughs> All right. And then yeah. let, let, let us focus on the STIs. Yeah. What do you reckon when a young person uh is infected with STIs? How do they approach it? How do they convince their parents that you know uh this is how I am? <laughs> 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 yeah. I think you are more afraid of pregnancy. <laughs> Then STI is or HIV. Yes. You know, bold. But first, pregnancy. Uh, what about pregnancy? Not even HIV. What about bold? Talk to a young woman. Maybe you can ask her. Yes. Uh, tell us. Uh, <laughs> yes. 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 Bold, what about you? What about you? Yes. 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 Yes what to do first you can tell your dad like hey maze na kuna venye na jikuna ama kuna venye na skin chungu ama kuna venye na linga pale na kwa as what do you tell your mom or your dad so so you you suffer in silence a lot of people are suffering in silence kuna jikunanga tu they becomes natural yes it becomes your career that you make but young people need to know that they have the right yes to seek health care okay. they have the right yeah. like any other person yeah. to walk into a, a clinic or a pharmacy or, 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 or a hospital and get treatment mm -hmm. and don't be afraid mm -hmm. let's remove the stigma yes walk in and say hey, kuna venye scope wa. but you walk in and they demand for money no, no, that's the thing that's the thing yes, yes. you find that young people so cannot you go to your parents and your parents will definitely criticize you yeah so they'll be like why why can you, let me tell you i've been yes. having a lot of stick hold engagements yeah. with even government yeah, uh, yeah. Um, you know the ministry of health uh, we've talked to 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 even the parliamentarians who sit on the, the parliamentary committee on health mm -hmm. and and we are agitating for youth friendly clinics yes and obviously there's a cost implication uh, we all know that uh, health care is supposed to be free but it isn't it isn't free. it isn't free yes. because when you even if you go to a public hospital mm -hmm. they ask you for money they will ask you for money they will tell you buy, buy medicine and stuff yeah. Yeah. Well, so when young people get in it so the colors and stuff they're not working it's not working yes. so we have yeah. a real problem okay so if you if you do not have the money to uh, pay for the services you yeah. cannot get treatment yes unfortunately mm -hmm. so those are things that we are we're talking about and if we do not have this conversation mm -hmm. we're not be able to drive policy change okay and laws so do you think that Punguza uh, initiative would be successful without involving parents? Because parents are the core here. When we talk about the young people and issues that are affecting these young people, mm. we bring we should bring parents into perspective. Indeed, yes, indeed we must. So what is your plan on that? Indeed we must. Yeah, that's a good question. So mm. the first, the, you know, for us we are at the beginning of this conversation. Mm. So the conversation starts with the core audience, which is the youth. Okay. Obviously, as we are having this conversation, even on our social media, you see a lot of parents saying that we support this conversation. We don't know what to do with our things. Mm. Some do not even believe that the teenagers are able to be uh, capable of doing this yes. uh, in fact some of them are like oh my god some if you read like my page on instagram yes dng kenya okay. you see a lot of bible verses <laughs> you know romans <laughs> somebody sent romans 124 uh -huh. Uh -huh. today morning uh -huh. and kind of like, it's it's yes don't be shocked yes we are committed to having this conversation with you with your teens yes and and i think once parents accept that this is a problem mm -hmm. and they are open to dealing with the problem mm -hmm. then we're heading in the right direction mm -hmm. because the problem would be mm -hmm. if we sit back and say this is not happening and we don't want to talk about it yes you know there are those parents who have that very sad uh, you know stance stands here yeah 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 that needs to to change yeah. whether it's the parents whether it's the religious uh, institutions or any other spheres of influence mm -hmm. we must accept and embrace mm -hmm. then now we can move together yes mm -hmm. now before before the Pumuza initiative there are people yeah. who've just taken a step of say uh issues that you've just talked about like early pregnancies mm -hmm. uh there are those who are already infected by say hiv aids and maybe they feel nah this is not relevant for me mm -hmm. do you think that you also are you planning to target this for sure kind of do you know what like yes. even in this event we're talking about on friday mm -hmm. we have uh, a, a critical mass of of uh, teen moms yes who have already given birth in in, in these areas because uh, the, the the 
organization we're doing this event with is it's called Youth Youth Nairobi. Okay. It's a consortium of youth groups from different parts, this MKC, the Great Tea, the Rai and other places. Mm -hmm. And and so they're bringing this team moms to give experiences. Mm -hmm. So that if you're already pregnant, for example, and you're like life is over, it yeah. isn't life goes on. Life and if you're on. blind watching and say your yeah. your your daughter has come and she's knocked up mm -hmm. and you're pissed off, mm -hmm. don't shout her mm -hmm. because it's not the end of the world even if say you 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 are sick or you've been infected it's not the end of the world life goes on precisely yeah. precisely all right and um gng is also having an initiative that we also talked about that is uh the hustle yako right yes hustle yako hustle yako mm -hmm. you can be tell us about this about this, this so, whole idea so hustle yako um uh, we kicked it off in 2017 mm. and that one is focused on, on something very different it's focused on uh, youth empowerment and development with a specific agenda mm. around career business and entrepreneurship yes so everywhere i go guys will tell me the engineer colleague the engineer the yeah. 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 The yeah. Yeah. so i'm yeah. like you know what young people have the entrepreneurial spirit mm. but perhaps what they don't know is the how the how how do i do get from a to yeah. b yes you know, the kuna idea ya biz, ya ifunguaje, ya pata wapi do, ya pata wapi customer, ya pata wapi, ya weza kujimaketa aje, such things. Yeah. So also the is about imparting skills. Okay. Soft skills, communication skills, market yeah. skills, yeah. brand yeah. skills, whatever. Yes. That has to do with, with economic empowerment. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing that on, on, on online, we've done the activities on ground and we've gone to universities, for example, we did uh, an event with Oil Flame at ZTech Uni, very amazing, a thousand students in attendance, fired wow, up, wow, 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 uh, wow. we're doing another event, yeah. very, very interestingly, on yeah. Saturday. On Saturday. That's this week Saturday. It's at St. George's, uh -huh. and this one is a high schoolers event. Oh, right, only high schoolers. Mm. So, oh, so what are you telling these high schoolers? So high schoolers, do they need to hustle or to concentrate? You know what the Yeah, business or entrepreneurship skills need to be imparted early. Uh huh. So because you see, it, people have been blaming our education system, saying it's not preparing them for the real world. What is yes. the real world, Kaxton? Yes. The real world means when you when you you know graduate or finish form four. Mm. Does that mean that you're going to go to university and get a good job? No. 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 That is how we used to be told it down uh, when you were kids. Yeah. Some, some read hard, yeah, get an yeah, A, B yeah, number yeah. one, mm. go to university and you get a good mm. job that pays you well and buy a bigger and a bigger house. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm. Today, how many graduates do we have? We have 800,000 graduates annually yes. who cannot be absorbed into the job market. I see. So we have a ballooning, ballooning labor force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the opportunities are very little. Uh -huh. So what do we do with these 800,000 people? Uh -huh big churn out of colleges and universities every year. We have to steer them to entrepreneurship. Where you start a TV station like this Kirk Store yes. and employ 30 guys. Precisely. DNG, I start an agency yeah. and I have 300 brand activators on my on my database. Yes. You know, and somebody else does the same, somebody else does the same. Yeah. That's how we create opportunities for ourselves and for others without being dependent mm -hmm. on an employer. Okay. DNG, you've not told me what precisely will be telling these so, people. Because exactly. What what you class? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Do you know what? Do you yes. know what? Let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. Atta here in this. <laughs> at your yes. yeah. Because what, what's the purpose of going to school? Uh -huh. I think that's where we need to interrogate it. Uh -huh. if, you, if you're sending your, your, your child to school, why? Isn't it to develop their mind? Isn't it to network? Yeah. Isn't it to to, to grow, uh -huh. to develop skills, mm -hmm. to identify their interests or passion points, to trigger their abilities so mm -hmm. that they can stand on their own two feet? That is the purpose of education, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So these high schoolers mm. are not taught that in the 844 system. Yes. Let's be frank. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, therefore, we are seeing guys leaving school and just sitting in the just house. Sitting, yeah. I'm just chilling. What are you doing after phone four? I'm just chilling. Man. Chilling, yeah. I'm on the ground on IG, mm. Snapchat, mm. Mm. foodie, foodie, foodie. Mm. Oh, I'm Netflixing. Mm. Mm. Chief, you need to know that even after phone four, you can start a business. Precisely. That you can grind. Me, yes. I used to sell things in, in, in Shule. Ah. What did you used to sell? I've sold uh, music CDs. Uh -huh. I've sold Mazio milk. That yeah. was illegal. It was, it was illegal. Yeah. <laughs> the administration did not know, yes. but it was my BHR. So do you support that? Young people? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
mimi ni like CEO so get young guys kujeni nisaidie niko na finje aha fries ni 20 bob 20 bob yeah. so tunakula fries mbili mimi nakula yangu solo ingine tu kwa mjana wadogo anapiga nyara alafu 10 bob tunapiga mabolga Bolga ni kwa 50 cents alright niko tunakula tuna bolga ni 20 kila mtu mbili 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 niko sawa you need this okay 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 come so clearly so come so clearly at this event yes. we yeah. we're teaching them how yeah. to plan Yes, their lives. Yeah. Because life planning is essential. Mm-hmm. We're teaching them how to manage their, their themselves. Yeah. Even even if it's you see sometimes you think as uh, high schoolers as children, they're not children. Mm-hmm. These yeah. are people who have who can be able to plan their day. They even know what they want to do after yeah. from work. Uh-huh. These are you understand? So if we need to stop treating our teens as children because they're not children. Sure. Sure. These are semi adults. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So we have to teach them responsibility. Yes. We have to teach them that you know what even after form 4 mm-hmm. if you do not pass mm-hmm. life is not over. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You can still be somebody. You can be somebody. You can still grow, you can still succeed, you can you can do something with you don't just rely on employment. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so we have a panel of, yeah. of, of people from different industries okay. coming to impart their testimonies, yeah, yeah, yeah. talk about their experiences yeah. and how they've succeeded from point A to B. Mm-hmm. We uh, we're also teaching them how to plan in terms of you know their finances yeah, yeah. because you find that they, they have a, a lot of money passing through their hands through pocket money and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know your index one, your uncle gave you 5k, what do you do with that 5k? Can't you save it? Can't you do grow? something? Can't you exactly mm. invest somewhere? Yes. Hata kama utaanza kuza njugu tu anza start a business. Yeah. And business let me tell you Kakson, it's yeah. not about having a million shilling uh-huh. capital. Aha. Pole pole. Aha. Uh-huh. When I was an artist I used to sell my cassettes in River Road. You know what what young people out there think is uh, how can I get, you know, a funding from say a youth organization and stuff or a bank? Or a bank. So a bank will not give you a credit yeah. without collateral. You don't have a shamba. <laughs> you don't have a car. So yes. you have no yes. yeah. You don't get the, yeah. the loan. Yeah. yeah. So stop that 5000 shilling. I was telling you my story. Hey. Yes. I used to sell cars, tapes in River Road. Uh-huh. My profit was 40 shillings. I used to sell the tapes for an unfortunate tape for the shillings. Cassettes. 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 Okay. Yeah. And then There's I started after, after 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 high school uh-huh. because I, I started doing music at age 17. Yeah. yeah. But 18 okay. I had tape when you did. But 18 I had a tape and I was, I was selling them in River Road. Kwa njia tu a a kwa ma shops kuna hizo shops za distributors yes na ndio na za tipstano so i used to sell my 80 shillings oh yeah so ni mimi kuna profit ya 40 bob then is 5 unit 200 to what yeah yeah yoni kuna 200 kesho ni kuna 200 yeah ngine ni kuna 200 na save na enda ku recording ngoma nyingine so ni pole pole kwa kistole pole and if you don't encourage our yeah if you don't if we don't encourage our high schoolers to be sharp yeah we will be creating a generation of this you know tule tuto tuna baby baby kapa baka mama you know those soft yeah. brittle yeah. 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 you yeah. no yeah. we need yeah. to say no mm. we need to create hardcore mm. uh, young people who can develop this country who can add value mm. we are not about you know dependency mindset okay start on your own two feet as a man or a woman and be somebody All right and why are we forgetting about the issue of drugs when it comes to uh it is uh responsible sexual behavior the hustle like uh, you know coming up with ideas and stuff mm-hmm. like as, as a stumbling block mm-hmm. to young people uh when it comes to focusing on their future exactly now you see that the problem comes in with the idleness even as the bible said The, the the idol mind is the devil's workshop yeah so if you keep young people busy with the right activities yeah, yeah. the right uh, information mm-hmm. you feed their mind mm-hmm. they don't have time for these other things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. plus life is all about balance even you as an individual cuts on yes, they are a working man yeah if you are an idol man true obviously you do them da niko best na chache in the morning na chana unafikiria sasa tufanye nini twende tu Beyonce ama Seni tukie pige ama nifanye nini that is how we think man true 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 but now that you're busy you've come here early yes your whole day is planned so you've less time for nonsense the nonsense una proposal ina kwa kidogo jo pia ra lazima bro amsemi atia tukuli ra na kula ra bro lakini balance balance less of the negative yeah more the positive oh, get you yeah. so you are a better person ideally yes ada kama unakunywa kapombe baada ya kazi baada ya kazi umefanya kazi age to 5 yes piga tea zako moja mbili na neno na na ya kesho siku nyingine but sasa ukiomlevi the whole day ungefungua shop 
Noma sana. Eh, Noma sana. Account inaenda 000 yeah, zero yeah, negative. Yeah. Okay. Sipoa. Sipoa. Mm-hmm. My, director, my director tells me that we are out of time right now. Uh, I want you to talk to a young person out there who's watching this show right now mm-hmm. about the Pungusa uh the Pungusa initiative. Mm-hmm. Offer an inspiration to this young guy yeah. you know, who's watching right now. You're first and foremost, man. Uh, thank you so much for being for having me, man. Thank and you. Great being. Yeah. And and for you who's watching the show, Santang Sanakwanasi, first and foremost, follow us on our social media platforms. That's where you're gonna get all the information about who we are, what we're doing, and the activities that we have planned for you. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Pungoza KE at Pungoza KE Kila Mahali Raisa yeah. Sana like the page plug into the conversation immerse yourself in this positivity and good vibes yeah. that's what we're all about we'll be putting up all, all you know the rest of the media too we'll yeah. be putting up the events yeah. you know in case you want to know okay when is the next event Takuwa Apina Zakuja Karibu Sana spread the word yeah. let's create a critical mass of young people taking this nation wow alright and this show will not end without doing this uh, I want uh, our sign language interpreter to uh communicate in sign language the word Puguza. Yeah. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. A. Yeah. yeah, again. You got it? P. Yeah. U. U. N. N. G. G. Z. Z. A. A. Yeah, that is the Okay. Oh, thank you so I, I much. I do have the opportunity to, to, to do it. To do it. Uh, uh, to do it on your own. Let's do this. I, 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 I. P. 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 Yeah. <laughs> P P or something yeah. like this, yeah. yeah. P P mm-hmm. yes, and then U, U yeah. and then N was yeah. am I right? Yeah. Then G yeah. G and then U yeah. goes yeah. and yeah. then A. Okay. Wow. Hey! Uh, nice, and that's all we have for you for Science Breakfast this <laughs> morning. See you tomorrow for Sign Language Center. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you so much, DNG. Yeah, and I wish you all the best in what you're doing. Thank you so much. We shall be at your back. Watching your back, Sunday. and young people come out, come out, and let us support this great initiative. You're watching Science TV, don't go too far.